the knife around. So no apex. You know, we don't need apex. All right. Okay, sure. Why not? Let's just go for it. Apex is obviously chilling somewhere. Um, this is actually, you know, look. All right. If Apex, if Nex has to play this match completely and Apex doesn't come in, although they've just nailed it. I, ironically, Nex is the only one to die in the knife round. <laughs> um, what were we just talking about? How Envy can't afford to lose. If they are using next instead of Apex, this is risky. Well, yeah, this is this is what this is not a game that they want to lose. No, you, you, you're dead right. I think it's still okay for them. Uh, oh, but okay. that, that we'll wait to see what next plays like first. Yeah, absolutely. Um, or maybe they, they yeah, I know they're going to use them. Okay, fair enough. Well, what is uh, CS:GO Pro League? So this is next the coach, by the way, not yeah. not next the uh, mouse sports player, <laughs> which is just without the T. No. All right, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. The one and only game tonight. Envious up against Penta Esports. Penta dying for a win. Envy can't afford to lose. And there is a substitute being used so far for Envious. We'll see how long this takes, but the coach is coming in. And next has grabbed himself a grenade here as well. And MBK as well, affording himself a great deal of uh, utility here. So I have to see how that really is going to be used as Penta to start things off there. Just... Well, they're inching their way towards B at this stage. Very minimal, in fact, no presence over towards A. So, Envious now will just be awaiting this push here. You can see Crystal and underpass as well. Kenny S just passing over the top of him. Nothing really be given away here. NBK, I, I think he threw down the early smoke there towards those corridors, but he's not seeing a lot either. Penta now speedy back through spawn. At least he's just checking it here as well. NBK already used his one nade that he had. It didn't actually connect. Now they know that there's something under pass and MBK has been caught out. b sites wide open. Yeah, but that's, uh, Kenny S is still trying to work out of that mid window as well. Tapson is just going to cut his losses and head over towards B because they've got that entry on towards NBK. He used a lot of his utility kind of early and the bomb's going to go down pretty much straight away here. Strange how this has played out now. Bomb going down. Smoke in front of shop. Tarson picks up Kenny S here. You can see Spitty's going to be pushing over there. He's got some envious players out in front of him but there's the turnaround there. Kiyoshima actually killed his teammate there and it's a 3v1. It was his coach. He's all right. <laughs> <laughs> Happy job's done. Though. You threw an aid, you're done. 1v3 for Happy. Very tricky. Already spotted out. Tabson will deal with him. And a pretty comfortable round in the end there for Penta. Managing to take down MBK early. Really open that door for them on the B site. So where was next sitting? Was he the, the B site short man? He was a connector. He was connector, he, he was connector. Okay. So yep. this is because this is obviously what Penta are going to look at and then maybe try and exploit it. They're going to go, okay, you know, the coach is playing here. Don't get me wrong, he's probably a great player, but he's not Apex, who's just had an absolute outstanding major. Yeah, the question is, uh, how much do Envy need to take down Penta at this stage here? Kiyoshima will open up with the Deagle, of course, and the buy for Envious is fairly characteristic. It's two scouts, two Deagles, and next we'll just go with that flash as well on top. So he, not going for anything crazy. See Envious sitting back here, and you can see Petra obviously go for a bit of a set play. Smokes do come in here. The one on the stairs does hit. Next, just in through the smoke back and forth. Of course, Penta got the UMPs on them as well. Tapson does take down next, and the flashes come in towards the side. Kiyoshima can't see a lot at all. So this go, the scout that Kenny S has got here, it could work out well. The smoke, ah, oh, the smoke actually hit next, so it stopped. It didn't block off CT spawn, which was what the plan was. But it does look like Penta are going to be able to rock and roll their way into here. Happy. Covering off. MBK is going to get himself a look on there. Happy going down. is not going to buy him the time he needed to get these scout shots off. And it does look like it should be a round closed out by Penta. And MBK. Well, oh, scout hits. Not going to work out too well when you get a rush down by those rifles. Penta starting off strong. And we'll see how it works out. It's going to have to be a save for Envy this time. They did force up in that one. It does mean they're going to have to go for a save and give Penta potentially another round. They're getting very minimal bank for their buck there, um, Envious, with the, with the buy they made. And Happy was forced to hold a vertical off angle. Flicking up with that with a deagle is super hard to hit as he was trying to work out a connector. So, unfortunately, he's not going to come away with that one here. And there's a smoke in towards me. That's just on the short. So, Penta are actually not really oh, posturing towards it. that. Look at this. MBK is all alone on B. And this is exactly where Penta are going. They're caught out of position. MBK has got to, got to delay as long as he can. Humanly possible. Can't happen. Couldn't keep Tapson away. And now the retake with just P250s is going to be nigh on impossible. Pent up five members covering the site. This Strux takes a little bit of a hit there from Kiyoshima. Poking out there from Shops. And Tarson's going to push in as well. See, Strux will just watch the angle. Smoke heavy here. And Tarson mm. actually can't find his target. He's looking up towards that doorway. And Kiyoshima 
may or may not be aware of Tarson's presence at all. They're delaying. You can see they're trying to get the position. If you look at the minimap, Happy's on the full rotate, so they want to come in from every angle, but they're waiting way too long. They have no kit. Happy's managed to pick up a UMP. He's recovered that all the way around the side there. Keo does manage to get himself another, but you can see that bomb will go off. It's a case of rescue the weapons they can. Can next manage to pick one up? Doesn't look like it. And Taps and Crystal will survive. So three to zero. Penta closed themselves out another round. Happy. Really, all he got there was that UMP, which is it going to get put to use? I think it was passed off to next, maybe. Yeah, pretty hard for Envious to scavenge them, uh, salvage well. many weapons from that one, but they'll buy it up. Crystal does have the orb here as well. Obviously, uh, an assortment of M4s here for Envious, so they haven't been able to buy into those at least with uh, you know a little bit of utility as well. They don't have helmets. None of them have helmets mm. here. That might be really important, especially if well, you know aim punch I mean, is going to be a factor. They're against AKs now, so the the helmets don't really make much uh, effect against those. They will be able to pierce through them, which. At this level, you kind of expect MBK just sidestepping away from the nade there. He's had to give up his uh, van platform. Now he's managed to smoke it down and recover it, but does get picked up. That's through the smoke. Tarsin just found him through the smoke on b side, And b side once again, and it's forcing Envy to pull people back. Happy's pulled away from short, and now if you look at the map, you can see Tabson and Crystal, they are looking to push on mid now. They know that mid control is going to be weak. Tapson now is trying, trying to get some shots down it's through mid. He does catch onto the heel of Kenny S as he darts across. Envious now down to two players already, and well, Penta haven't had to commit a whole lot to this at all. They're really actually just catching Envious as they move about the map, and they haven't really had to show themselves or give too much up to get those two easy kills. And Envious now have to work with three. This is unbelievable. If they, if they give up this game to Penta, it would be... We really put themselves in a real tricky position. They can't oh. afford to lose the one game, but Happy's doing a great job at keeping them at bay, but it's only a matter of time, really. And now Keo, the next on the retake. It's really all on Keo. Next, can he go huge? No, he's just going to get caught in the window. And Crystal will pick himself up another easy one there. They've been dealing with MBK so easily on B-site right now. He's been caught out so many times. And that, but th I mean, to be fair, that was through smoke. That was AK shots through smoke. Caught him in the head, dink down. Thing is, like, when we saw NBK on... I think it was the, again. Yep. Yeah, well, I, are you really that surprised, though? NBK <laughs> going to be going for that scout there on B. It's pretty obvious to know what he's going to try and make happen with that one. NBK kind of sits on the uh, on the side of the van, just looking in, in mm. towards... Well, at least he did on the pistol round, so he may have just exposed himself too much. And I mean, through the smoke, I mean... There's going to be hop skipping in this, though, yeah. in the scout, but... Three deagles as well for Envious. Next has stack, a kit. Yeah, four stack on A site. So... They've completely given up mid control, which is where Penta have full vision off at the moment. Tabs and Strux and Crystal all out there. And they're just waiting to try and close it off. This might be another B hit here. Yeah, it looks like Tabs is going to make his way up short. Strux is just covering off connector. There is a good smoke down there. The rest of Penta rotating this way. And yeah, Tabs is going to be the man that starts to creep in. They're going to try and push a connector. This is where the five man stack of Envy is waiting. They could go into Envy here. Yeah, Penta haven't really got any information about the setup at B here, so they're going to push in towards this one, nice. and Kiyoshima takes the head off Tarsen straight away. Strux steps up to the plate, he will actually... Oh, it'll be Crystal that gets the kill on towards Kiyoshima. Strux maybe just being that distraction for the moment. But Penta now getting himself a lot of breathing room here. Spitty's still over at B. Spitty's rotated, he's come all the way around to ramp side, so they are going to hit this site. And now, how are these pistols going to work out for them? Next is going to get tagged up heavily, Spitty will deal with him, he knows there's one above. And he knows the second it, oh, that nade's going to deal with him. He's down. Nice. Very nice nade there from Spitty. He's doing so much work from that position. Happy's just going to have to raid around the corner now and make some magic with that deagle. But with four players to deal with from Penta, at least be able to dispatch a crystal fairly easily. He goes down. But shots are coming in from CT. None of them really going to hit towards him. Strux finally finds Happy. And Envious there have not found a foothold yet in five rounds. <laughs> that was the, one of those times where Chris was like, seriously, yeah. nobody checked sight. No, nobody checked that corner. It's like, that's where Happy was just lingering. Five to zero, double AWP coming out of Envious here. This is a response. This is this is literally do or die right now, Envy. I mean, not, not, let's not get ahead of ourselves. It is only five zero, but this is risky, risky stuff. They're clearly not really putting any dents on Serpenta. They've had, what, three, four people alive almost all rounds so far. They've not been tested yet. Yeah, Envious aren't afraid to spend good cash to try and jumpstart them uh, in games like this one here, and they'd love to build some momentum up against Penta, who's so far looking so strong. Spitty takes down next, but there's Kiyoshima. Able to get the shot in towards him at Palace. You can see he's going to back up as well. You see Kenny S and Kiyoshima both go towards CT. He's happy. He's just watching this angle over at short, and they've let Strux on towards the side here. Both of them are going to try and go for the two stack there from CT. Do note that Kiyoshima is quite low, but Kenny S has the AWP as well, and he's 
a little bit of a vulnerable position there. You can see already this crystal snuck through as well. Kenny S will be able to pick up Strux. Crystal now towards jungle. He can make some mayhem there as well, but Tabson will attempt to cross and Tarsen's in tow. Oh, he's pushed forward. He's gone aggressive. He's got to know there's one oh. through there, but he's happy that picks him off. That's all the way from short, that shot. And now Kenny S, clean up duty. Can he find the last one? And Crystal, he knows he's there. Can't catch him, but MBK will not. He got picked off by Crystal. Happy should get him. He sees the muzzle. He's just going to edge on round and finish him off. So the orbs working for Envious there. Four kills between the two of them. And 5-1 the score now. Penta, Envious finally, finally starting. But this coach that they have next standing in instead of Apex, it's not working out for him just yet. No, not quite. I mean, Envious, as he's, you said... He's at 0 5 I don't, I don't, like, to, don't like to be down on a guy. Yeah. <laughs> but it, when you come into a place Apex, it's tricky. But MBK as well, he's been picked off a lot over a B. We've seen the same thing happen as well. Hellraiser's obviously had to play with uh, with their coach on, on occasion. It does happen, but well, next... Uh, so we're going to have to lift here a little bit here if Envious want to get these rounds back. The double orb did pay off. It's a big investment. And Envious, honestly, they're one of those teams that make those investments and they make them work for them as well. Mm. It's not like everyone's got Fnatic. They can just fall back. Who, who are we going to play tonight? Oh, we'll get Khan to play. Sure, why not? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, even back in the day, they had Devil Walker. You could just yeah, drop right yeah. in as well. No problem. BK now is going to make his way back in towards ladder room here. Towards mid, a lot of smoke in mid window as well. And Penta denying that one heavily away from Envious. They know so much mayhem can oh, be reached nade. from those orbs. Oh, it didn't really do a great deal. Strux got caught on the back side. Only 55 was taken down to. But as soon as the smoke dissipates, Keo knows that there's people in this connector. Kenny is ready and waiting to fire. Trigger it off here. Keo though and Kenny both dealing with it. That is connector cleared out. Oh, MBK Ooh. so close to finding Tabson oh. there and does manage to flick around and find the head. In the last second. And now Crystal and Speedy, the last two. They've got to be careful. Envious, they pick this up. This is going to be a nice, solid pickup for them without any losing any rifles. As I say, that Crystal's picked off Keo. And now Spitty finds another one on next. But it is all on Crystal once again, just as he was in the previous round. And they do close him out. And again, Kenny and Happy doing the work. But this time, MBK finally delivering. Yep, so Envious now, of course, they're on, they're on the run. We have a couple rounds behind them here, and this is going to force Penta into a bit of a nasty financial situation. They'll at least see some investment from a Deagle from Tarsen. He'll even go for some armor on top there. I don't really think they'll go for too much more here, though, as Envious, obviously, going to be trying to put some pressure on them here. Next, still with the Famous, hasn't been able to afford to buy anymore, unfortunately. Just rebuys at Famous each round. Kenny has to watch mid. I feel sorry for him, i got to do, got to be honest. I'm going to be celebrating. I remember Vladislavia actually stepped in for uh, Hellraisers as well uh, at yes, one point. Yeah. I'd be stressing. <coughs> she got, actually, to be fair, she got JW twice with a Deagle. <laughs> so uh, she did all right. No doubt about that one. But Spitty just took a nade straight on his noggin. Kenny S is doing the damage. Kyo, he knows he's got one around the corner in overpass. Delpan's just been dealt with, so that's been cleared out. Strux the last man. All easy for Envious there against the Pistols of Penta. Didn't really have a structured plan to uh, cause any problems for Envious. But here we go, back on the AKs. Envious looking pretty businesslike in that round. Just strolling through and getting it done, of course. Kenny S with all the time in the world to make the picks from mid up against players with just pistols. But Penta have been able to buy up a little bit here. Crystal can't afford that AWP yet. We'll go into the AK. Plenty of utility for them here as well. So this is definitely a round worth paying close attention to as Penta is split towards that B side of the map, but two towards mid. But Kenny will be waiting. Penta are not going to oblige. Yeah, creeping forward. Happy's gone very aggressive on short. He's going to get that peek out. We've got Kenny and Happy both looking down mid, but Penta is set up to challenge out MBK here. He's going to be careful he doesn't peek his head out a little too soon. They're all still stacked up. Ready and waiting to push through apartments. Here they go. Here comes the train. MBK ready. Happy flashed out. Gets caught out, but it was a good counter flash. Oh. He will manage to get a no-scope on Tapson. Spins around, gets another through window. He will finally get taken down, but it's board time. MBK's been picked off at the back of bench, and these nades are going to come raining in. Kenny has smoked out for the moment. He's going to push through that one there. Out of the flash, he's going to get in towards that side. Some shots from the CZ. He does connect on towards Crystal. Tarson will respond here. The 2v2. The bomb is knocked down. It's loose, and that's a big factor for Envious Next gets there. a kill. And he's on the board. Welcome to the game. Next, and Envious with four rounds in a row. That double AWP buy-up, that big investment, has paid dividends now with those four rounds. And I believe... Oh, they didn't manage to click the second AWP. Okay, so next managed to collect one there for Kenny. Kept the magic stick safe, but Envious picking the round up back in control. And, of course, it means that Penta will be just back down to the Deagles and P250s. One armor coming out for Tarsen. This is going to be... 
Is it going to be a fast one into B? Looks like they're going to stack out. Smoke's getting ready again. It is MBK all alone there again. So they could try and catch him napping. Again, Penta put a lot of resources oh, towards his B-side. Side. Straight through the Molotov as well. Tarsen actually taking no damage. It dissipated at just the last moment. And they're pushing him, but MBK is there. He picks up Crystal. There's Tarsen pushing the side. One shot towards MBK is enough to take the man down. And he's going to be looking for Happy. He gets him as well. Two for Tarsen. And Penta are well and truly in on this side. But here comes the backup. The cavalry has arrived, but Tarsen makes it three with that deagle. Oh, Lord. Tabson trying to take some uh, a leaf out of his book, perhaps. Next, very low here. And any of us envious have to be very careful here. Oh, that deagle is what it's all about this round. You can see it. The amount of damage that Tarsen oh, put down the knife. the knife from Tabson to finish it off between oh, the two Kenny. of them. Big oh, round. Kenny. That's so much money for Tabson as well. While it looks so horrific to get knifed, it just gives you so much cash. And the Deagle, the Eco Force, working wonders. And Tarsen more than anything. I mean, Tabson gets the, the two with the knife at the end there, but Tarsen was the man that opened that side wide open with those three Deagle kills. Fantastic stuff. MBK and Happy picked apart. And Penta right back in control. They've got themselves the double orb that they just stole off Envious. Tabson very happy to add that extra $1,500 to his account, by the way. Be quite cheerful about that. Smoke towards this T-Ramp here, and Nexus is actually going to push in as well. Spitty's going to try and spray through the smoke, but Envious so far dexterously dodging that one. They trade in towards Spitty. Next will go down, but Kiyoshima will respond. The bomb is in mid. Two players from Penta there as well. It's just that one player they invested to take out on that T-Ramp. So mid control... In the hands of Penta right now, it's Crystal with that AWP trying to get himself a glimpse. Keo's going to go to window as that smoke dissipates and get a little peek, but this is giving a sight a lot of control towards Penta. Now with those shots from Tamsin and Connector, Keo is going to rotate back. They were slowly heading three people over to B-side, but Keo's rotated back around. He's going to push on him with Kenny in support. Kenny holding his AWP still in position. Now Crystal's going to push into Palace. It's going to be two out of A ramp. And Tarsen, well, Tamsen, sorry, coming out of connector. Slowly but surely, he's making his way across. He hasn't been spotted yet as well. The Molotov, he might follow this one up in towards Happy, and he does take him out. Strux now going to throw the nade towards CT. Kiyoshima picks it. back one in response. He does land the nade. Beautiful stuff there. And Strux is going to get involved as well. MBK will trade at least on towards Tabson, but he's now on his own. He's in jungle. The bomb. Oh, dear. He can watch the bomb. A perfect angle, but at least Crystal can chip in nice and bait. take him out. Nice bait there. Just simply Strux baiting him out, Crystal. Lining up the shot there. The nade actually caught on Kenny as well. A couple of shots came through, and then that nade following through the smoke caught him out. But 7-4, this is a great start for Penta. They started off so well with their four rounds, uh, five rounds on the back-to-back, -back, but now they've got themselves back in control, and it's giving Envious some serious problems. You can see their economy is shattered, but they have the Eagles this time. Can they do what Penta did back to them? Now, last night, it was some crazy forced buys. Back and forth between uh, Hellraisers and Envious. Back and forth for four or five rounds running they traded just with the eagles it was incredible well let's see what envious can do with these so far it's not a bad start as kenny s has already dispatched spitty but tarson's going to make his way in towards the side as well it's a very passive sort of setup here for envious you can see kiyoshima's just sitting in towards that middle connector strux was hoping to connect onto that one but tarson apparently didn't need the help he'll now look towards ct that's a shot coming in from mbk and he will approach those ticket booths he sees the shots coming through he knows exactly who's standing there and the bomb ticks away envious have three players to attack this with and there comes a flash yeah, and that's a beautiful little flash to push himself around there. Kenny has the last man standing who's got himself an AK, and he's just going to run away and save. 8-4 will be the score for Penta. Eight rounds on the T side. Good start from them here. And Envious, it goes to show, you know, even with just one man down, it's very hard for those other four players to carry a game. Next, he got himself that one kill on the board, but it's a real struggle. It's like he's not against, you know, just a couple of silvers and golds here. He's against Penta. This is a top 12 team in the world right now. This is a real tricky task for them. And the thing is, it's it's not even uh, taking a stab at next as well. When you're when you're playing with a standard or maybe someone that you're not used to playing with, your easier side should essentially be that CT side. You, you just get them to try and hold an angle or hold a point. Uh, you know, if you can't sort of get him up to speed with all the finer details of what you expect from him. When we go to T side, it's like we saw with Schneider when he played his first game at Hellraisers. He struggled there as well to be part of that cohesive unit going forward. But there's Happy gets two in mid, and this is going to slow Penter up so much. This is their buy as well. They finally got some rifles back in their hands. Yeah, um, this, is, this is how you respond. This is exactly how you respond. You get Kenny and Happy in a position they enjoy. And Kenny, oh, he saw him there. He saw him. He's going to chase. He's going to try and pursue, trying to catch him around the back there. Does get the little backstab. That grenade rattling around, but it's not going to quite catch him. He's backed away enough, but the damage has been done. Strux has been picked off by Keo as well. Happy finds his third in Tarson as he drops out that window. 
And Tabs on the last man standing. Finds the shot on towards Kenny, who had just recovered an orb. Well, this, uh, again, despite from Envious, definitely working out for them here. It's already eight rounds for Penta on the T side, so they've got to be Ooh. happy with that. But there's Tabson making his last stand here. A couple of very cheeky shots have yielded some kills, but he's in the 1v2, and Happy is watching like a hawk. He's watching from coming around the side, actually. It was Kiyoshima in mid, and he will get the kill on towards Tabson there. And Envious keep themselves in this one here. Only a couple rounds left in the half. Penta already with eight. Definitely has to start to make you concerned if you're the Frenchman. Yeah, Penta are going to buy back into this one, of course. But that does give Envious their double op set up once again. This is going to, what they've wanted for a while. Next, bless him. <laughs> he's sort of... A, I think he's well, got, he can't afford to buy anymore because he's I've, not getting killed. So I he's think he's got to the point where he, he, dare, he dare not ask for a gun. <laughs> he's like, could someone buy a gun for me, please? Please, anyone? Maybe, maybe not. No? Okay. I think Nexus just starts to like, look, I've got one more, one kill in the game. That's all I needed. But as it is, it's not working out. They've gone aggressive. Nex gets himself. Oh, no. Kyo stole it from him. That should have been Nexus. And instead, instead Kyo actually kills Nex in ramp room. And this is open. A site wide open. A calamity of errors for Envious and Penta. They're looking for their ninth round here. This round has descended into utter pandemonium. Next, the next could have had the kill. He got it stolen and then got himself killed. And now it's NBK. He must hold on here. He does get a kill towards Tarsi, but Penta get their ninth round for this half. Envious languishing on only five. And uh, just things definitely going south for Envious that's in that last round. And they, well, they're going to force it here, of course, but I mean, very that, little to work with. That's twice that Kyo's killed Nex, isn't it? Uh, it's, no, it's twice that Nex has died. I think it I was MBK that killed him last time. I'm not sure. I thought, I thought it was Kyo last time. I'm sure it was on the retake. Kyo managed to kill him last time. I mean, to be fair, these guys have probably like standard attack positions when they're moving into it. Although there's no argument for that one. That was a ramp room yeah, kill. Well. It's just a slaughter. They're going to try it again. Nex is the one that's going aggressive. They've got the pistols this time. They're going to try and challenge out on Spitty. Nex is literally the lamb they're sending to the slaughter yeah. to be the distracting force. But he managed to get his spray transfer back onto Keo. And that was a quick, easy two kills. And this is looking like a potential 10 rounds here. Kenny already on the little sneak around. Crystal, I think he's going to be expecting him. Does get a little glimpse on towards him as well. That's a great little dink from the Kenny there. Catching the head. Tries to get the bounce around the corner on Spitty. But that bomb and orb will get recovered. Funny about the Tech 9 sometimes. Uh, Kenny took absolutely no damage in that particular trade. But you're right. Uh, talking about Lamps the Slaughter now, as Kenny's going to be pushed around the corner. Look for Tarsin as well. He can do some serious work with his 5 7 here. He's held him up for a, a good amount of time. But it does look like Penta now. I was thinking about mobilizing. They've been kept inside their spawn this whole round. And you're right. <clears throat> Next was you being used by Kiyoshima to try and trade into Spitty. They were happy to go the one for one there. But when Kiyoshima also goes down, Spitty has a good spray angle. That's very bad news for Envious here as well, especially when that rifle was on Kiyoshima. The only rifle. So now MBK will at least be able to get towards structure. And this is Envious for you. Like This is classic Envy, making something out of pretty much nothing. And MBK will have to hold this big side as Tarson and Tabson are en route. What can he do? 5-7 in hand. Now, Tarson, who he did just kind of glimpse of, is very low on health there. Now, Molly actually might work in his favour, so you know it's the only way to wor wor worry with one ac angle. Where's my tongue just gone? I don't know, just not working suddenly. Spitty gets himself the third of the round, and it is all unhappy now. Who's probably not going to be too happy about this first half ending 10 5 because CT side's really where you would expect the action to come. Now, bearing in mind, we're going into the T side with one man effectively down in the form of Nex. It's a very tricky map to try and forge an attack on at the best of times. Like, Penta have got to be feeling good coming into this, right? Well, that's what I was saying as well. Uh, it's one thing to sort of be, <laughs> I wag on my fingers as I say, this downer player on the CT side. Uh, obviously, you know, Nexus still, you can see the way they're trying to use Nexus as well. They're not trying to make him be a big frag or a point player. They are trying to push him into trade for. I mean, and as a T side as well, trading one for one is actually positive. So they might try and go for that again here. Um, but yeah, I mean, how do you use him in your strategy? What what part does he play? Does he throw a set smoke? Does he throw a set nade? Does he, you know, does he go out first? Does he soak the shots? I don't really know. Um, but that's the envy. So going to try and make this work. They obviously have no choice. Apex is probably on a date knowing him. Um, so they have to sort of work around this one. Let's see, though, as we do jump into the pistol. And just two over at A for Penta right now, but they're bringing the rest across fairly quickly. Happy is going to burst out from T-Ramp. He's going to take down Spitty straight away. The smoke is in his way, but the rest of his team have already pushed on towards this one. They have control of this A side. Happy goes towards Tarsin as well. And this is a great start from Envious. MBK gets a knife kill on towards Tabson as well. <laughs> and that is 10 to 6. And I should point out as well that Happy on that first kill, fully blinded.
Fully blinded just, as he pu as he just, pushed out. Just let loose. Look at that. That is ridiculous. That flick is ridiculous. He couldn't see a thing. Yeah, because he waits for it to clear and he's like, oh, I got a kill. Yeah. See, we don't always notice that because we don't get the full flash, of course. No, because it's not fully do, white for us, yeah. yeah. Could not see a little thing. short one, but... Well, that round may well have just given Envy a glimmer. Yeah, as you can see, they've gone with those Mac 10s. Let's see how it works out. They're going to... Try and speed things up, possibly. Tabson and Speedy taking a couple of shots. Tarsin tries a quick deagle there, but it's not happening. MBK has found Tabson over on A-site. Tarsin just trying to draw the fire of Kiyoshima. Strux in support. Next is peeking, and Kenny's trying to draw the angle in mid as well. But a is completely in control of Envy. This bomb needs to rotate, and that's where Kenny's finally taking it now. Everyone's going to push through. Strux will get picked off, and now Tarsin, who was... The one man over on B-Site is the only one that's left on B-Site with that Deagle. They're about to come through window. Happy will find him. And it's 10-7. Penta. Well, in Envious slightly back in it now. We'll see. Once that rifle round comes around in, what, two rounds' time, see whether they'll be able to recover it. Yeah, I have to see what kind of setup uh, Penta sort of want to go for there as well. Next... Um, we'll maybe stick on the MAC-10 as well. They'll probably keep these guns for now and, and just sort of work with them as much as they possibly can. And this is Envious getting a, a much-needed buffer, I guess, as well, especially if they're anticipating difficulties later in the round, uh, in the half when guns are being bought up by Penta. So they're very happy with this, of course, off the back of that pistol round, which was incredibly dominant. Happy just being freakish. And here's Kiyoshima coming forward. That was a nade. NBK, uh, is too far away as well. He's actually sitting well back. Seeing well back towards spawn here. This is a three stack. This is tricky. Taps and not going to find Happy. Happy did drop down. That's A side control, and Keo is now looking. They'd actually rotated away from B side. They've got a three stack there, and then Keo decides to take the perfect moment to push because he knows they've probably drawn out of sight. And just Tarsen and Crystal to try and get picked off. MBK will get found out, but I think that will be all. And next gets himself his third kill of the game. Got to point out as well that Kiyoshima, uh, as he worked his way through that B side, uh, didn't reload once. He didn't actually reload at all because he was sort of out in the open, didn't want to risk it, yeah. and he actually, I think he used his final bullet to get that last kill there. So, very efficient play from the man as well, just trying to keep things safe as he opened that one up on his own. So now we're down to those two rounds. Just two rounds in it, and that's what a good pistol round can do for you, but here's the buy. Crystal has gone for that AWP as well, left himself completely skinned, so he's definitely hoping to do some good work with it in this round and slow up the Frenchman as they start to make these rounds back. Right, yeah, with his... Orp now in play for Crystal. We'll see what he can do with it. Can he make it work for him? Kenny's going to try and peek it. They've got a little bit of mid control, but Speedy went aggressive down on A ramp that was. That's where he managed to catch Happy out. But now they're all pushing. Four members of Envious all clustered in this mid position and trying to go into connector. Tabson is going to find himself an angle on one. MBK pushes it aggressively and he gets a second on towards Kenny. The backup is there and the MB are just running straight into these rifles of Penta. This is very easy defensive work for them. Four people all in connector, no problem. Very clever by Tabson as he gets another one there as well. Two for him, two for Spitty. He poked at connector very briefly, saw the two players there. He didn't really feel confident to take that challenge, so he backed up. Gave information away, and then sort of took it one by one. So, I mean, the, the biggest uh, biggest problem for Envious right now is they're missing their entry fragger. Yes. They're missing Apex. It looks like it's Happy that's kind of slipped into that role. He was the guy that was coming around on ramp room there. I'm not sure, sure if he's going to be trying to be the entry fragger. They have got Keo as well in MBK, so they can certainly hit these things. But uh, they've had to force a way back into this one. This is risky. I mean, they're going to be down to, what, nothing. If they're until the lie, they actually have pretty damn good bank. Still 3.8k and happy, so they're going to be able to throw out the Tech 9s in the next round should they need it, or maybe even a couple of AKs. So almost all of Envious, as you said, with the rifle in hand. Next, just going for utility at this stage. Trying to pro provide that for his team. Penta went for a three stack on B side there, expecting maybe something to come fast from MV, but it is going to be another connector hit. Oh, that Molly's going to be perfect. It's going to slow them down, but is he expecting MVK to push? No. Good opening there from MBK, and the rest of Envious is going to go through. Kiyoshima's going to have to wait a bit for the Molly to subside with the Spitty. He gets on towards MBK. This is going to slow up Envy a little bit more, but Kenny S punches straight through Spitty. But Crystal can respond. Such aggressive play from Kenny S there. Put himself out in the open. Good nade from Happy as well. Three nades. Yeah. All three of them roll rammed into his Crystal's position there. There's an AWP CT call. And boom. Everything goes Hammer. his way. Absolutely hammered. Strux will get picked off, and it is all on Tarsen here. So Envious. 
They've literally just done exactly the same tactic they did the round before. It's like, we're going to do it better. We know what we're doing now. You know what you're doing next? Okay, let's do it. And it, it just worked out. It was that Molly. I think it was Tabson or Tarson. I didn't see which one it was. They threw that Molly and just expect him to slow down and connect. So they, three of them pushed through it. Completely caught him napping. Oh, next there went for the challenge uh, against Tabson at the end of the round there and lost out pretty badly. So that's another at least kill going over towards him. A consolation for Penta now. See the money quite low here. So two rounds in it for them. We've only had one round this half, of course, after losing that after losing the pistol here. So, you know, Envious have done quite well to stabilize after that, that gun round win coming away from Penta. Putting them back on those pistols. Very so, much a very, very... Wow, this is fast. Safe. NBK going to be pushing through it. It looks like he's the man of the spearhead right now. Takes down Tarsin. He'll get another one as well. Tapson will fall under his fire. And Envious looking very, very good at the moment. At least NBK leading the charge straight through. He gets three kills. He's just going wherever he pleases. And he's coming out on top. That was no-nonsense stuff. No-nonsense stuff from Envious there. Straight down mid. Straight up connector. Absolutely running through them. Penta... Well, obviously you don't have an answer when you've only got pistols in your hand, but uh, this time around they have got the rifles. They need to try and try and wrestle a little bit of control there. Is Crystal getting smoked out every round? I haven't been able to keep an angle on him, see whether he's been able to deal with this window, or just whether he just doesn't fancy challenging Kenny. It is going to be Kyo once again. And next. Next is next is the, the lamb they keep sending out forward. So you, you shoulder peek it. You shoulder peek it. Go on. We'll, we'll, we'll follow up. We'll back you up. It's going to be four members of Envy straight away on top and mid. And there's MBK. Got himself the angle. And they have control again. They're just going to push straight up connector. Same tactic. And MBK manages to open the shot. Taps are going a little bit too late with the smoke there. And MBK can challenge and get his second. This man is on fire. Continuing his form from that major. Strux is at least able to get involved and slow things up. Great two kills on towards Kiyoshima and Kenny S. But MBK has found himself an orb here, and he does have a crack towards short, won't be able to connect, and they're down to three players. Penta, well, they're converging on this one as well. The bomb is down. Next will be the one that was delivered that one in that situation. He might go hunting here for Speedy, but he's heard him. He knows he's just around the corner. There's NBK there. Yeah, another kill for him. Two massive rounds for him so far. And Strux also just going to peek out from that connector. Speedy, great work. Turns around the flash. Next didn't really have a, a hope in hell. They left it too late, though. They've let, they can't get the defuse now. Ooh. They have no kits. I mean, they, they might get the ex exit kills, but they were, they, like you say, Speedy got the kill on yeah. next, but he was just sat way too long, just waiting time. And that's a round for Envious. And that's, what, three rounds running now. They've done exactly, exactly the same thing. Four members piling into mid, piling up connector. One man either goes ramp or into palace. One way or another, and it's worked. It's worked. MBK is leading the charge, spearheading through, like you said. And he's, he's been racking up the kills. He barely got anything over on the uh, CT side, but he's just plowing through right now. He's up to 18 already. Yeah, I think in two rounds, it's uh, ooh, six kills for him. Yeah. Six kills. So very, very big stuff for him as well. And all he's doing is actually just pushing. He's just being aggressive. He, he backs himself in those aim battles, those 1v1s, and he's winning him every single time. But here oh. comes Keo pushing towards B. They've switched it up. They're going to be piling in. It's another four-man rush from Envious. I guess, you know, when you are lacking that big entry player, what do you do? You go in with everybody. <laughs> everybody gets the entry. Everybody gets the trades. Happy and Kenny open things up. And now it's going to be Keo to try and deal with them. But they have got Thompson left. The last man, they know where he is. He's trying to push through the molly. He's going to flash himself through and back in. But is he going to be able to find anyone? Gets himself one. That's going to be Kenny on bench. Finds another on MBK and suddenly it's a one-on-one. -on -one. Bomb plan hasn't got down yet. He's got plenty of time to play with and Happy's on just eight health at the back of Van and that bomb is out of position. He's going to get a flick across the side. No way that happened. Tapson, you had all the time in the world to hit that shot. Happy on eight health does not get even touched once. Unbelievable stuff there. Envious yet again managing to pull that one out and that puts him in the lead. Now, the last couple couple rounds uh, the Envious have won it hasn't been by a big margin. They've been down to sort of one or two players here, so worth bearing in mind that you know, <laughs> the economy still isn't stellar for them. You can see that, well, next, obviously, who's had economic issues all game has actually at least got himself an AK. So Happy has a lot, but they're going to have to share some around a little bit here as well. So Pentor at least managing to, you know, make them spend more Ooh. money. But here's Kiyoshima as well. Makes an entry on towards B. He's going to follow that one up. And Happy as well across the other side of the map gets it on towards Spitty. This is very, very tough here for Penta to respond to, of course, only with these pistols and Envious just seem to uh, be having their way with them. Yeah, they've got nearly no response here. We were wondering what that T side would be like, and it's actually working out well for them. Oh, MPK just finally got dealt with by Tabson there, but still a very tough ask, as you said. 
Oh, Strux, I think, might just get a little glimpse there. But he got flashed up instantly. He got no way of dealing with that. And that's going to be b site in control. Crystal and Tabson, I think they'd be happy to just rescue these rifles here. Quite methodical there from Kiyoshima. Just making his way in towards that side. Gets a pick on towards Van. Moves up. Nades. Flashes. Takes that player down as well. Bit by bit, he's already pushed all the way through. Now, it's allowed Envious to get the fairly straightforward plant here. And you're right. Penta with the two-gun save. Getting close towards those uh, 16 rounds here as well. So they must... Frugal with their resources. Yeah, I don't think I don't think Thompson's gonna be able to hold on to this weapon. He knows where they're coming from. The question is, can he deal with both of them? Kenny and Keo are both gonna check this. He fancies it. I think Keo's gonna squeak into window. Ah no. Keo will find him. So Crystal's the only one, he'll survive with his weapon. But they should have enough to buy up in the next round, yeah. Penta can afford to get into this one. And they need to because Envious, once they've gone on this T side, have been dominant. Dominant. 8 1 so far in this second half. Wasn't sure what to expect after a 10 5 start for Penta, but Envious responding in kind. Yeah, you know, we, we said this could be interesting. How do Envious sort of play around next and, uh, and, and use him when they're on the T side? Well, Honestly, they haven't had to use him that extensively. I mean, you can see Next uh, has only got the three frags to his name. So it's literally four players from Envious are doing a ridiculous amount of work. Next is playing the bomb. He's, he's got bomb They're already in B. They're this already pushed through. They just do whatever they like. His truck has been forced away by the flash and, he, and Kiyoshima as well. He's at Van already. He's got himself tucked right on in. Tarsin already getting chunked down a little bit. Chen S opens things up. Envious coming forward in numbers here and they're looking good. And that's how it's working for them. They're coming four-man stack. Happy's really the, the lone man, the guy that's just been the distracting force around the side. And he's picked himself up two kills doing that in mid. Can he get himself another? Nope. Spinny will deal with him, but he's all alone. Bomb plant's going to go down. Envious looking to make this one 14-1. Spitty in a very tricky situation. If he challenges towards Kitchen, well, he's going to be walking in towards Kenny S's all. I'd like to think it's pretty obvious that there's a mandatory for uh, for Penta to try and get this this round here. And they look, the, the round loss bonus is, is ticked in, so they're getting a little bit more, but this is absolutely crucial now. Losing that one, they needed that buy. They can at least, for the most part, do it again here. But again, this is do or die stuff for them here. And Envious have just inflicted so much damage to them as well. Happy, 29 kills and 13 deaths. He has been an absolute maverick around the map. And even we saw NBK shine in those last few rounds. Even with that happening, Happy has still been head and shoulders above the rest in terms of the damage he's doing to Penta. Yeah, the speed that Envy are playing at has caught them off guard. They have finally adjusted their tactic. It's not going to be the same crazy gung-ho style. It's been working out for them. Crystal getting a little pot shot on towards Kyo there. Kyo not able to find the head like he has done a couple of times in towards that B site. Now are we going to see another resurgence of the A strategy straight up connector? No. Because Happy's been dealt with. And that means MBK is going to have to be the man that challenges. Oh, Speedy. Speedy's pushing through. MBK's just off the side there. They know they're close by. They just can't quite a glimpse of it. It's MBK that will come out on top in the duel. And that opens A a little bit. Tarsus coming in. He's going for the challenge. He turned the flash though, so it's just as well that MBK didn't push that too quickly. Tarsin is going to try and chase this one down there. Tapson going to get nullified in towards the mid. That's Kenny S with the pick. It's trying to do work from short here. He's going to be forced back by a nade. Tarsin did chase oh, down MBK in the end. There's Strux getting the kill. A lot of nades going in towards him, putting him down to seven points of health. And now two players for Penta are sort of isolated towards that B site. Tarsin has to have his wits about him here. Kenny S is looking for this entry. One shot is all he needs. He didn't hit it. He's very low on health. Well, he's got him to a very exposed position for Kenny to try and hit that. Bread and butter just going into Palace like that. That's exactly where Kenny will be happy to look at. Won't have expected Crystal to come around the side. Kenny does find Tarsin. Very simple shot for him there, but Strux from short does finally close the round on such an important one for Penta there. Staring at match point, but Envious, they built up such a bank that they could just buy right back into this one and the next round, and then the round loss kicks in, so there's no worries for Envious for the rest of this game. It's Penta that are in trouble. And they were still down to those, what, just two members remaining, which is why we see that FAMAS coming in. Now, oh, Penta, what can they do? They have to deal with the rest of Envious. The speed is really what's been catching them off guard. I think they're going to be doing it again. I think it's going to be a steam train into B. Well, you're probably not wrong here. Is, uh, that he's going to be the push. His double flash as well. Strux just going to throw a nade in there towards just to try and slow them down. But I don't really think it's going to be enough. There's nothing that's going to stop the Envious train right now. Strux is up behind them, though. Does get a kill on NBK as he comes over the top. Crystal as well getting involved here. Envious kind of throwing themselves into this one. And finally, 
Finally, Penta have adjusted to this aggressive B play. They now have learned how to deal with it, at least in some part, and Envious <laughs> should probably go for something By triple different. stacking, basically. That's how they work. They've, they, they put uh, Crystal over there as well, didn't they? they three stacked on B side, and it worked, as you said. Now, the question is, do Envy adjust? Do they just go back to that connector play, which worked out so well for them? And it's caught Penta napping. 14-13, very close game, no doubt about this. Obviously, next the substitute in. It has only got a pistol. Everybody else from Envy has the AKs. Their money's fine. And next is literally the distracting force. He's been sent over to B. He's going to try and make as much noise as he can. He's throwing out flashes, throwing out smokes, trying to draw people away from A site. But Penta are not falling for it. Three members of Penta hold strong. Flash to A. Tapson just around the corner there. Always looking up towards Palace. Happy's there. Kiyoshima with the entry. Though, and Tapson is overwhelmed. Crystal's trying to hold there from jungle. But he's going to have to flash himself. He might go for another cheeky peek. But he's definitely feeling a little bit concerned for his safety he's now. Burning. As the Molotov goes down under towards him. NDK on towards Crystal here. Strux as well trying to do some work from CT. He's pushing out the smoke. He's there. He does connect the kill towards Kenny S. We have the 2v2. Tapson pushes out, but he doesn't deal with MBK. Oh, Strux just got a glimpse of him. Well, that nade might rattle through. It might find MBK. No, just off to the side of him. And the bomb is ticking. Now he has a kit. He has the time, but that is ticking much quicker than he'd like. And I don't think he's going to be able to push this one. I think it's going to be match point here. And that, economically, is going to cause problems for Penta. They are going to be able to force a way in towards it. But that is about all they can go for. Strux is going to be able to find himself one. The bomb, for some reason, decided to cut out for a moment there. Just yeah. get back in there. But So, 15 points for Envious. Match point, finally. After such a dominant start, they were 8-1 up for a while in the second half, but now it's 10-3. Now, they went 10-5 themselves, Penta, on the T side. They have to stop Envy and maybe try and take it to overtime here. Envious is pretty clear to see that they've thrived, even with only their four core players on this T side. They've really been able to dictate the flow of the game. They've been able to force Penta to be reactive and not spread. proactive. Just, just look at that kill spread. 29, Happy, 22, MBK, 20, Kenny S, 21, Keo. They've all carried the weight, and they had to. They had to to try and get to this situation in a, effectively a 4v5, 4.5v5. <laughs> no, they distributed the weight of Nex over yeah. their team enough to, uh, <laughs> to put him through it, but that's fine. He's a big sandbag. <laughs> Kiyoshima, he's going to smoke that B. He's got blue hair, though, so that's yeah. what counts. <laughs> Definitely one of the boys, no doubt about it. Anyway, NBK, he's going to be punching in towards mid. We want to watch him right now as he tries to make the entry. Does he spinny? He gets away. But the spray down is so beautiful towards Tapson. Absolute poetry in motion. NBK are the authors of Penta's destruction right now. Just two left. It's Crystal. It's Strux. They're trying to hang on. There's no hanging on to this one as they're down to one. And four players from NBK are going to go in for the kill. The bomb goes down. NBK's entries have been magnificent. He's just dealt with them every single time, just rushing on in there, catching the head of just the important person that distracts everybody and draws their attention. And, you know, considering he had a very quiet B-side, he like, didn't really get a great deal going on there. They do manage to close it out. 16-13, the final score here. Envious do pick up the win. It was definitely tested for them. If they'd have done that against... Maybe anyway, mid-table, I don't know, your Titans of the world, I can't see them coming out on top. But then again, I can't imagine Apex would have missed that game either. Well, again, I mean, you know, Envious are aware of sort of what their position is right now. It's it's not a must-win game for them. It's it definitely in their best interest to win it. It's going to reduce any sort of uncertainties as we go towards a qualification period. But yeah, as, as we sort of said, uh, next coming into the lineup, uh, again, <laughs> they sort of tried to use him as much as well as like a utility beacon dispenser. Uh, <laughs> I mean, that's what he was. He was the distractor. Well, no, we, we like call throwing it him in front. He was the, the, the body bag. We call it warm prop in Australia. A warm prop. Warm prop is what he is. <laughs> I mean, that's, yeah, that works. Yeah. That works. I can get that. But yeah, overall, you know, Envious, yeah, you can't really take a great deal from that one. You can't really read a great deal into that game. It was what it was. They used the coach and they still come out on top, which for Penta, you got to feel they're going to be feeling a little aggrieved for that, especially after the 10-5 first half. That was a great first half. Yeah. They just couldn't get it going on CT side. Yeah, it's, it, well, it says a lot for Penta and for Envious as well. The fact that they can uh, coordinate such a, an amazing T side. I'll be honest, it was, it was really, really good considering the situation they've been put in there. So, I mean, that's a wrap. There's only the one game tonight there, well, and it's all about Envious. Not quite a wrap, because now we're moving on to the Intel Extreme Masters, and we're talking about the San Jose draw. Now, we have uh, beautiful little props. I'm going to pull them out. I'm gonna, you got one? Oh, yeah, I've got pot one. I've got pot one. This is this is pot one. This is all the top teams, which is uh, your TSM, your NV, Virtus Pro, and Navi, all in this pot. And we're going to get it on the front here. Let's get it on the front there. There we go. 
Oh, 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 I've been, I'm being told the positions. You're going to be doing the draws for this one. Um, so, yeah, Pot 2 consists of Gamers 2, Luminosity, Cloud9, and the winner of the iBuyPower tournament. Now, that's obviously going to be happening over the next uh, week or two. So, a lot of big teams in there. I'm expecting you, your CLGs and your Liquids probably going to be big favorites in that one. Yeah, definitely. I mean, uh, it'd, be, it'd be interesting to see how that one sort of rounds out. It's going to be good to see that third uh, sort of team from uh, the American region as well uh, showing up for that one. I mean, this could be really interesting as well uh, as a tournament of this size as well. I'll be looking forward mm. to seeing how maybe some rematches from, from the Major. So to another chance for these teams to uh, get another crack at it. Of course, it's not a Major in itself, but I'm mm. sure they'd love to have a go at each <laughs> other on the main stage. Yes, no doubt about it. So, shall we get on with the draw? Mitch Leslie, you are the draw master for this one. You're going to get the hands. You know what? No, no, no beautiful silk gloves for I've this. I've learned from Graham, or, actually. Or, or I've, I've, I've been studying yeah, Graham's... He, he does the, I'm the, studying his the finger work extensively. I know, I know, he's all the, I know he, he handles the... Okay, so we're, the way we're going to do this draw is basically a simple tree. No, nope, obviously you know what it is. It's all about, we're going to have top seed versus second seed. And then now and again, top seed, second seed, top seed, second seed, top seed, second seed. Done. And that's got what San Jose is going to turn out like. Mm -hmm. So, Mitch Leslie, the power is in your hands. All so the teams are going to be looking at you. HLTV will be slating you if you draw this wrong. Mm. Just saying. No pressure. Well, of course, guys, as you can see, the pots here, they're not massive, so I can't actually shake them. It doesn't really work that way. So we are. I'm going to sort of just try and get my hand in there and pick <laughs> one out. So it's a bit more awkward, I guess, of a drawing process, but we're going to do it anyway. So we're drawing for pot one first, I believe. Oh, look leave at that leave it there. Leave it there. Leave it on the desk. Get your hand involved. All right. I'm getting my hand get, in early. I want to go for the third one down. This one. You here. want the third one down? Yeah. Okay. So that would be... Don't drop them. Don't you one. drop them balls. That'll be that one. You'd be delicate. All right, putting these two back. Okay, what is the third one then? <coughs> I, want, I want it shown to the screen. Mm-hmm. Of official. You, you dropped it on the floor. You should That's be right. opening it up the, here, man. It looks, it looks dodgy when you do that. It's Navi. So, Nadas Vincent. They obviously reached the major final just last weekend. They are going to be the top seed draw. Who will they be facing? Great performance from them. Which one are you going for? Number Go two? For the second ball you going for the here. second ball down? Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. You fancy in that one? Who's, who's it going to be? This is going to be the number two seed. And it will be. That looks like Luminosity to me. That is Luminosity. Wow. Okay. Navi versus Luminosity. A rematch of the. It was the quarterfinals, wasn't it? For the major just last weekend. And they are facing each other once again. That, that's going to be great as well. I mean, uh, you know, we, we knew that Luminosity actually in, in the best of one stage snuck that map off of Fnatic as well. So yep. a team that Not can the first time either. They did yep. it at the Pro League last yeah. season. So exactly right. They, they have it in them. The Brazilians, great little drop for them. And uh, we'll see how they work out because they're not doing so well in the Pro League over in North America. All so right. next number one seed. You gotta right, move so them around a bit, okay? I want, I want, I want. Which one are you going for? I'm just gonna rearrange. Sh just, slightly. just shuffle, just shuffle, just get a, get a, get a good shuffle going on there. Blind, yeah, that's it, that's it. I see what you're doing. I yeah, see what you're doing. Totally, totally works. That's totally look away. Tons of room to move. Because now you can't actually see what you're picking up. Okay, you, you got it. You're good. You're good. You're good. Right. You got it. Here we go. You got, you got to hold it up when you open it up, man. You got to, you got to, got to, you can't be hiding the thing. Graham, I, I should have got some more lessons from Graham. You anyway, do need lessons from Graham. This is our second pick from Team Solo Mid. There we go. TSM! They're in the top seed area, so they're obviously going to be facing off against the number two seed. Who will the number two seed be? TSM didn't do well at the major, honestly. Would expect that. I, I had them down to win it. Well, this is what we're saying uh, about uh, NIP. A lot of confidence from NIP going into mm. sort of those last few days because of their performance against TSM. They were slated as, as one of those teams that were going to be top. We saw Device having a massive, massive two weeks, sort of, or three weeks and leading up to away. that major. Well, uh, yeah, I mean, when it came to the time to deliver, unfortunately, it just wasn't there for them. So maybe another chance for them uh, to, uh, to show us what they're made of because they definitely can do it online. There's no doubt. Yeah. So, number two seed. Who are they going to be facing? Let's do it. I look away very awkwardly. I'm, I'm waiting for you to like smash one of those glasses I'm, on the floor or something. I think it's that's, a possibility. I think that's honest. what's going to happen. All right. Yeah. Uh, I want the bottom one. You want the bottom one? All right. I think that's the bottom one. It's not the bottom one, but it'll do. Oh, okay. Hold it up. Hold it up. Come on. Just for you guys at home. We should have got some like Kinder surprises or something <laughs> for this. Yeah, well, I well, at least like, like, like the little eggs like, like, eat the before I do I it. like the way you're noticing it's the right way around. It's Cloud9. Cloud9 TSM. Wow. You've, you've drawn, like, the two top American seeds in the top half of the bracket. Sorry. Ooh, and they're placing TSM. So, Na'Vi will be playing Luminosity and Cloud9 versus TSM. That's the top half of the bracket for San Jose. This is going to be happening on the 21st of November. 
with a plethora of commentators. So let's move things along. Next top seed, if you will, Mr. Leslie. We've only got two left in this one here, so I'll go for the bottom one. I'll grab them both, as you can see. He's going to grab them both. And I'm going to put this one back in the pot, which is probably almost pointless, but here we go. So let's see our next top seed. Producer's telling me to take the other one. No, I'm not taking the other one. <laughs> All right, so I've got it here. It will be... Futus Pro. Pro. Already on the plane on the way to Sivo. I saw the Pasha posting his pictures. So they are heading over to North America already. They'll be back before then, of course. Yeah, well, back I mean, and forth for them, no doubt about it. But not the best of major performances for them. They're not going to be happy with it. I mean, well, no. Now, anyway, Pasha as well was quite vocal about the fact mm. that he wasn't happy with how the team performed. But on the other side of that as well, it was G2 just in, in their breakout performance as well. I they mean, came up against a really on-form game, Gamers too, who uh, obviously proved it against Envious. Let's see who that second seed is. The two available ones are Gamers 2 and the I buy Power Champion. Who is it going to be? All right. <sighs> Take the bottom one again. Let's crack this one open here. I'll be interested to see, you know, who our I buy a power invitational winner is going to be. Oh but my word. Oh dear. Ladies really? and gentlemen, it's a rematch. It's Gamers 2. Gamers 2 Esports gonna be facing off against Virtus Pro and that's not a draw they're going to be happy with you about. I think Taz might be on the phone soon. Well, I mean, I, I'm sure a lot of people would be wanting to see how it goes th the next time around mm. as well, especially with Virtus Pro having had some time to sort of go back and sort of hit the drawing board a bit. So I'm, I'm particularly excited for that matchup. I think it'd be a really, really good way to gauge how the teams are a little bit further out from that major. So let's just confirm and complete the draw because we know obviously the last two remaining. This should be number seed pot number one. It should be Envious, I hope. Although something's gone terribly wrong. Yeah, well, we're, we're in fine. trouble if it isn't. It is going to be Envious. The boys in blue that just beat Penta. The major champions. And they are going to have themselves... Well, what one, some would consider an easier start to this tournament. Because pot number two, it should be the winners of the I Buy Power tournament. And that, of course, could be anyone right now. It's wide open to the North American scene. Who will take it? But if you do... You've got to face Envious in your first matchup. Incredible stuff. There is the draw, just to confirm and conclude. Na'Vi will be play, playing against Luminosity. A rematch, many a rematch is going on here. TSM will face off against Cloud9. Virtus Pro in another rematch against Gamers 2. The Major really gave us some fantastic matches and we're hoping to get to see them once again at San Jose. And finally, Envious up against the winner of the I Buy Power Tournament, which will be happening over the next few weeks. The likes of Team Liquid, Cloud, uh, not Cloud9, they're already in there. CLG, you know, they, they are probably the big favorites. Your Winter Fox is in there as well. Everybody really, really what do you expect from the North American scene? Yeah, it's going to be great. I mean, Liquid currently sitting on, on top of the, the Pro League mm. in, in North America as well with a really, really good record. I think it's 13 and four right yep. now. So, I mean, they're looking strong and we'd of course love to see them uh, at, at San Jose as well. So. Uh, amongst many of those other teams. So I'm, I'm excited to see that one there, but I'm, I'm pumped to at least have a bracket as well to be sort of pouring over every five minutes, <laughs> wondering about the possibilities of what we might see when it comes around. So that is it for us here in Europe. In North America, things will be kicking off in around about six hours time. That is 2 a.m. Central European time. It is 8 o'clock right now. Uh, yes, that does calculate correctly. It's going to be Cloud9 versus Enemy GG starting things off. Cloud9 CLG will follow that one. So some brilliant, brilliant games to watch if you are around and awake with some insomnia in Europe and uh, still alive for that one. Thanks for casting this one, Mitch. It has been just a single quick and easy night. That is it for us tonight. We'll be back next Tuesday, I believe, with some more Counter-Strike action.